split the recording and continue. Okay, so we need to get to the Cave of Wisdom. Uh, which one was that? Cave of Wisdom, stair number four. Oh, oh, okay. That's pretty much in the same direction as the stairway up to level two. to go back down to the Cave of Wisdom to grab the Dark Block, because we can give Pyra a real bitchin' whip. get out of my way. <laughs> I love games like, um, one of the biggest things I love about Wild Arms is as you level up, you can start to just ignore battles. With, you know, mobs that are just a waste of time. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. <sighs> One point of damage. Oh no. Here, have one hundred and forty seven. Jelly, jelly. All right. Dark bat. It is a bat that is dark. It is the dark bat. Din, 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 din. Dark bat. Oops, wrong one. I need the room key for this. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, Cave of Wisdom start. Man, I wish I had the rope. It's always mildly irritating when games don't give you things that would be useful for quite a while before, until close to the end of the game. I mean, at this point, I'm more than halfway through. I've, I've gone through all the four trials, I've finished the first and second levels. There are only three levels of the uh, Labyrinth to go. And yet I still don't have a rope that would allow me to climb back up out of pits. Oh no. Trouble. Wow. Okay, that was mildly surprising that Pyra didn't uh, just kill everything outright. Hey, Simon. Had a cat drive by. Maybe she'll come up here and I can show her off. Okay. Oh, another dark wizard. More like dork wizard! 
<laughs> One of them ran. Run, coward! You scared, butch? Nice. Yeah, the 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 original Xbox was definitely good for emulation. Um, we've got better options now so I, I I have modded my Xbox but I haven't really taken advantage of that you know what so these things are pretty nasty they uh, will do little dances kind of like what those uh, uh, Naga things did earlier and it'll do 10 points of damage to everyone for every ostrich ostrich that's dancing so yeah it's it's pretty nasty whoops Ah, there we go. Okay, step forward, move around, potential pit. Yeah, and you know what? That's one of the reasons why I don't do a lot of emulation. Um, I, I do have emulators set up purely for retro achievements and making things easier to stream. But I only have stuff set up, uh, emulators and ROMs, for games that I have the system and the cartridge for. Um, and that kind of makes it a little bit more manageable. When you've got thousands and thousands of games to choose from, yeah, it's kind of hard to decide what to play. In fact, that's, that's part of why I started doing um, the YouTube videos. Because I was sitting there and I'm like, I want to play a game, but I don't know what to play. And I would just end up either not playing a game or watching Twitch or whatever. Which isn't bad. Thank you for watching me on Twitch. Um, but when I started to do the YouTube thing, all of a sudden, I've got purpose. I've got games that I, I intend to play. And it felt good. Kind of broke me out of my gaming on Wii. I still have thousands of games at my disposal, but the, uh, you know, my list kind of helps. <laughs> I've got videos planned out through the end of 2019. I should probably start planning out 2020 soon. But I'm actually kind of out of ideas after 2019 for one of my features, so... I'm kind of trying to decide whether I want to just keep it alive and try to find more stuff or figure out if I want to do a new type of feature in that place, which I'm kind of leaning toward that. Uh, let's see. Map, map, map. Map, map. Okay. Go here, turn. Go to the corner, turn, take 
one step beyond that edge. There are pitfalls in the floor around here that I'm trying to be careful about. So take one step, turn, take two steps, turn. There are in-game maps to help you with this. And actually, when I was a kid, I wrote all of this out on graph paper. It was tons of fun. I still have those maps somewhere. I really do need to try to remember to dig them out. Okay, turn. There we go. All right, we're through that. Smock. Okay, keep going. Down on the corner. Up. Do 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 ba da da. Okay, well this used to, like, put icy fear into my veins, but I think we should be okay. 14 points of damage, yeah, we're, we're fine. Okay, go to the end. Night free. Well, thank you very much for stopping by and uh, giving me someone to talk to. <laughs> Rest well, and I hope I see you again soon. And thank you for the follow. Jeez, yeah, I'm doing pretty well as far as magic is concerned, so shouldn't have too much of a problem getting to that dark block. I didn't think I would. I mean, it's been a while since I've been in the uh, Cave of Wisdom, so... Mr. Crusher, I crush your head. Crush, crush, crush. Ooh, that was actually uh, in the yellow there. There we go. All better. Keep going. Maze Runner! Yeah, those things used to pack quite a punch. Or kick. Okay. Keep going. Take a right. There we go. Okay. Take a right. Step around the pit in the middle of the room. Oh, 
there's also some more mithril this way. I should probably do that while I'm here. Because I doubt I got that mithril the last time I was here. It's way too out of the way. Um, okay, so this way. I need to go south. I did get the Steel Saber, I know I got that. Now it's time for some cat entertainment. The uh, gerbil is running around in his cage. And uh, Siren is very interested. Okay, so find a here. And then this way around. Smoke. Nice one, Pyro. Alright, now... Go down past one. Turn at the second. Turn here, go south. left after this fight. Cockatoris. <laughs> All right, down to the corner. Hey there, Joe. Nice to see ya. I am enjoying some Shining in the Darkness. How's your night then? had a uh, more lively stream than usual tonight, thanks to Drex. Uh, he gave me a uh, shout-out on his Discord channel, because he didn't feel like streaming tonight, so he's like, if you want to watch someone, watch Tess. You've never seen this game, huh? Well... Uh, this is Shining in the Darkness. It was on the original Genesis. Um, it was the very first game in the series that would later spawn Shining Force. Shining Resonance Refrain is the most recent one. Um, but yeah, it's a first-person dungeon crawler on the Genesis, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so now we go to here. Um, oh wait, nope, nope, nope. This is the critical spot. We go up to the second left, and that's where the dark block is. But yeah, they uh, did make 
another Shining game that's a first-person dungeon crawler on the Saturn that I just recently found out about, so I will be playing that game after I'm done with this. Oh man, thanks for the sub! You are currently my only subscriber. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> okay, let's go down this way. Yeah. Should be able to just go all the way down and then take a right. Okay. You are not my first subscriber, but you are currently my only subscriber. <laughs> No, stop chewing cables, Siren. Especially that one. Nice fake out. Stop it. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, but it's not up to me. <laughs> Not entirely. <sighs> okay, so we got the dark block. Now, wait. Okay, that did go right to Milo. Ooh, hold on. I need to figure out something to drop. I can drop the deep poison. There we go. Whee! Bud. Okay, now. Sorcerers. But yeah, this was a, a favorite game of mine when I was younger. Um, I played it and almost beat it. Unfortunately, this game allows you to throw away some of the critical armor that you absolutely need to defeat the final boss. And I had done so. So I got up to the final boss, hammered on him for hours, and I couldn't defeat him because I didn't have the right equipment. And you can't recover something you throw away. So, I've had a hard time coming back to this, but I decided I would do so for Twitch. So I guess uh, this would make it a 25-year-old revenge game. <laughs> but it is a game that I really enjoy. It's just, you know, it's just really hard to deal with that set back. No, Siren. No! What is with you and cables right now?
El gato, el gato, el gato no es bueno. Stay here for now. Oh, I'm glad you did. I had... Uh, I didn't stream that gameplay, which I usually do for my first trophy videos. Um, I just kind of kept it in my back pocket for when I was on vacation. Yeah, I gotta figure out why she's been chewing on cables lately. Because I've got way too many cables around and I can't keep an eye on her 24 hours a day. Hey, I hang out. I I trigger that uh, SFX all the time on on Drex's stream, <laughs> and sometimes I sing along with it just like that. <laughs> okay. So H I can do without. We're going to go around and do this. I cannot do a good Pugsy impression, so I can't really do that whole thing. But uh, I do absolutely enjoy cheering 105 bits at him and scaring the pants off of him. <laughs> it is one of my simple pleasures. Let's make Drex jump with the demon Pugsy. around. Take a left here. Go around. This time, keep going. Why are there two directions? That's not on the map. Okay, weird. Alright, that's a pool. Okay. Well, at least I know where I am on the map. It's just slightly incorrect, which I've been kind of running into a lot. points of damage. 14 points? Whatever will I do? Oh, that's right. I'll heal them. Easily. After the fight, of course. go. Mithril Ore. Yay. All right. Now we got what we came for. So, vamos, you little varmint. Okay, let's go rest up first. Oh, no, wait. Let's go to the trader first. to make, to use this stinky block, I mean, 
It looks kind of odorifus. Yeah, I don't know. To make a kick-ass whip for Hydra. Or Pyra. Yep. Oh, not at the moment at least. Um, actually, I've got an extra piece of Mithril right now. I might be able to make some more equipment. Um, got the helm, got the sun armor. You could use a shield. Uh, you got... Okay, great axe. I'm going to hold off on that. You've got a magic hood instead of a mithril hood. That's right, I was going to make a shield for her. Um... So I think she can use a mithril shield. Yeah. Let's do that. Alright, Pyra, you're going to be upgraded like crazy today. Okay, craft. And the mithril shield is 10,000, so I do have enough cash for that. Okay, there we go. Milo's uh, weapon that I want to make for him out of Mithril costs 30,000, and um, Pyra's weapon is going to be more advantageous to upgrade right away. So I kind of needed to spend that 20,000. That put me under the threshold for Milo's, so I figured I'd just get Pyra's shield at the same time. Oh, everybody normal is back again. <laughs> well, at least now Siren is distracted by the gerbil. The gerbil don't give a, give a shit, which is great. Okay, go back to the trader. Ah, I assume you're back to pick up your order. Here you go. Now who's going to take it? Pyra. Oh wait, Pyra's hands are full. Okay, let's sell her stuff first. Sell. Sell her whip. shield. I love how they're like, they'll buy it, and then they'll actually say, you know, like if it's a, a weapon, they'll say, oh, I need to sell this to the merchant next door. So if you go back to the, uh, um, the weapon seller, he'll actually have what you sold, and you can buy it back. So, if I had sold that special piece of equipment, I wouldn't have been screwed, but I had dropped it. Okay. I'm not going to be salty about that. No, I'm, I've been salty about it for 25 years. I, I'm going to keep being salty about it. Um, yes. Except I don't know how to trigger his, ah, oh, I have your thing here. There we go. Excellent. Nope, we're good. Now I just have to make sure I actually equip this stuff first. Made that mistake. <gasps> Pyra is cursed! So basically what happens is there's a 30% chance that after an attack, she will um, be bound, so she won't be able to move for a couple of turns. Um, but apparently, the but the power upgrade is 
more than worth it. Alright, let's go ahead and save again. You know what? Let's try that. I mean, for five gold pieces, if that just means that I, the weapon got unequipped, I can just equip it and get cursed again, and I don't care, but... Okay, yes, continue the adventure. Save. 